And finally, Oraskum Development Holding founder and chair of the current board, Sami Sawiri, says that he's shutting down the doors for other companies to develop in El Guna town. The Egyptian billionaire started developing Guna some 29 years ago. In recent years, other major developers have now taken an interest. They've set up projects in the resort town too. But as Sawiri told our correspondent Adel Makruhi at the El Guna Film Festival, his firm will now take over all future real estate development projects in El Guna. The Gona Film Festival is a creation uh, of yours in general, a creation of El Gona uh, as a city. Um, have you ever imagined that it will become such a big hit in a very short time? Uh, no, to be honest, uh, last year was such a great success that uh, even I did not expect. As a matter of fact, I was uh, planning to come for the opening and the uh, closing, and when I saw what a great thing this is, I stayed the whole time. <laughs> Uh, El Gona comes was a second edition at a, at a time where the city itself is growing bigger. We're seeing um, more developers other than Oroscom. The gates are open now for bigger developments. Um, is this your plan to, I mean, to open it to get faster development in Gona to make no. to cover? No, no, no. This was just a one-off to prove to the planet that we have a lot of value here and that our uh, land bank is uh, very uh, uh, like worthwhile and that the price that we believe our land is going for has been established by outsiders and uh, it was just a step that is important in the development of the whole company to prove that you have a worthy land bank but uh, in general we want to control all the development ourselves. Last question, as a real estate um, how do you see Elgona as a potential for investments and why do you think it, it does attract foreigners? I mean, it, it's one of the most places yeah. that attracts foreigners in Egypt. You know, we have uh, Heineken with a brewery here. We have a winery. Uh, we have IT companies left, right and center. We have a university. There's a lot of research happening in that university. So uh, in a way, this is becoming more and more like any sophisticated uh, modern uh, town should be. And uh, we're very proud of this.